Hi STAT students! In this video I'm going to show you how to make a multivariable regression. We've already talked about the low correlation um, relationship that exists between GP, previous GPA and IQ on a student's final course percentage. However, we're going to continue using those values just for demonstration purposes. Again, um, a correlation for it to be considered strong should be above 0.5 and both of these are lower than that. But I want to make a multivariable multi um, regression equation. So I'm going to go to analyze again like I did before. Go down to regression and then go to linear and you'll notice let's see what I've done is I went ahead and I selected previous GPA and the short form IQ as my independent variables whereas my final course percentage is my dependent variable. I'll go to statistics make certain that I've got descriptives selected Go to continue and then OK. And again, we get quite a few tables mean, standard deviation, the descriptive statistics. But the ones that I am particularly interested in is this last one, which has my coefficients. Um, it has my B value, the y intercept and then it has my coefficient for my previous GPA and then also my coefficient that goes with my second variable which is short form IQ test score. Again I'm going to right click on it and go to copy special because I want to save this as an image and I'll click OK and then I can open up a Word document and right click and go to paste. Again, I don't need this little folder there, so I'm going to hit escape. This way I can go ahead and resize my table, my JPEG that I have. And then there was a question about how to make subscripts, etc., in Microsoft Word, so I wanted to show you where you can find that. If you go to insert, which we're already there and then go to object you'll notice that down here we have Microsoft Equation 3.0 I couldn't remember if it was called Equation It or Microsoft Equation but I'm going to click OK and you'll see what I get is this equation toolbox so I can type in what my equation should look like I'll go Y equals and then I have my constant which is 41.947 plus then I'll put my um, coefficient for my previous GPA which is 5.497 and then I'll put X but I want to put a subscript there so I can go to this um, icon here and I can see down here there's a box for that so I can put a 1 in here then I'll hit tab to bring me out and I'll hit plus again and then point two X and then I'll put in my second subscript and there I have it then I can go ahead and hit close and there is my equation one of the nice things about this too is you can resize your equation if it's not the size that you would like. Now what I'd like to do is take you to a PowerPoint that I had created to continue the work here. So here was my equation and now I'm going to use my multivariate regression equation to make a prediction. So let's suppose that a student had a previous GPA of 3.45 and an IQ of 125. What would be the student's predicted final course percentage? 
And again, remember this isn't, this is a prediction. It's not the exact value. Our correlations were uh, relatively low to begin with, but for modeling purposes, hopefully this will serve you for your unit for project. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in 3.45 for my x1 value and 125 for my x2 value because x1 was talking about my previous GPA and x2 was talking about my IQ. So I tried to color code it so you'd get an idea there. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my work. So I've got 41.947 plus 18.965 and then the last one ends up being plus 25. Lastly, I'll add them together which I get 85.9 rounded and then I put my percent side there and then I'll write my sentence that explains the situation. According to my multivariable regression model or equation, if a student had a previous GPA of 3.45 and an IQ of 125, his final course percentage would be 86%. I'm certain his teachers would round up. Thanks, I hope this has been helpful and that it will be useful to you on your Unit 4 project. Have a good day.